Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Video. Hey. Video. Video. Hey. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Avril and welcome to Home with a Naturalista. And as you can see, my background is a bit different. This is gonna be my first hair video on my new channel. So as you can see, I have faux locks done. I got it done December 19th, and today is actually December 18th. Yes, 18th. So I am a day before my one month of having my hair in faux locks. Now, this is a protective style for whoever doesn't know. My hair is natural. I've been natural for two years. I did a big chop. Prior to the two years of being natural, I've been relaxed practically my whole life since fifth grade up until two years ago. And I never knew even the texture or anything about my natural hair. And I decided to go ahead and cut all the relaxed hair off and go natural. Another reason why I went natural is especially because on the top of my head, hereditary wise, my mom's side does go thin and i realized with all the relaxes that i've been doing my hair was thinning out right on the top and to help to kind of slow it down a bit i went natural so faux locks is this was my first time well no my second time getting faux locks the first time they were a bit longer and a bit tighter and did not have that natural uh, dread look that I like like this one so I got these done and I absolutely love it unfortunately I haven't watched washed my hair since I got them um, put in so in today's video I just wanted to go ahead and share with you guys as well as being nervous to even do it washing my hair from what the hairstylist said wash my hair as regular and everything will be fine I do plan on putting some hair paint on it just to give it a little spruce is that a word I don't know but um, I also want to put some accessories on it and kind of dress it up. I'm not going to do that in this video. That will be another video. But in this video, I just wanted to go ahead and do a wash and bring you guys along with me. So it's going to be a real quick hair tutorial. Hopefully my hair comes out okay and nothing starts unraveling. So I am actually going to use the garlic shampoo. Let's see. There we go. I got this from Amazon. Now, I actually, my mom used to use this in my hair when I was younger. And it's crazy how I seen it on Pinterest, I believe. And then I went on Amazon and seen it. And I was like, oh, because my hair used to actually be good length when I was relaxed. So, she always used to use this on me. And it used to have, like, an actual garlic smell. And it stunk. Believe it or not, the smell is gone. Unscented garlic extract. So... I kind of miss that smell, but hopefully still does the good, um, the cleaning as well as the help with hair growth. But I'm using the, con the shampoo and I also got the conditioner. And as I said, it smells really, really good. So check it out on Amazon. I believe I got it, um, honestly don't remember. I don't know if it was like $20 for both or I don't remember. It's been a while, but this is what I'll be using today and then I did get this hair massager um, to just go ahead and help to massage my scalp especially because I've had this in for a while now in the beginning of the video this is kind of out of my I didn't want to bring attention to this but I'm gonna be as transparent to you guys as possible so I've been struggling with some form of alope I'm, I'm assuming it's alopecia because I've been having this issue since I was younger with the left side of my hairline. No idea what's going on. And that was another reason why I stopped relaxing. So as you can see that I showed you, I did a close up earlier, but I have thinning right on this side. And this is something since high school. I remember my mom brought me to the doctor about it and um, he stated that it was the foods I was eating, use a silk scarf, this, that, 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 and nothing never worked. And it did grow back. It will grow back and not be completely, because it was actually really, really bald. Right? It's little. So, I don't know if it's alopecia or what, but I have bought the Haitian castor oil, as well as using the garlic and trying, like, one of my 2020 goals is my hairline girl like it might sound really crazy but yes 
my one of my goals for my 2020 um is to get my hairline back to normal it's so annoying and it's something that i'm so sensitive about so my scalp is itching so bad so i hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to click that notification bell that if a new video is posted you will be the first to know thank you so much if this was your first time thank you so much for clicking on my video my name is Evro, and if this is not your first time hey y'all hey so the next part of this video i'll be washing my hair so see you soon
back have some clothes on out of the shower i put on this microfiber towel that i purchased from amazon a while back and this is especially for when i do not have any protective style for my natural hair it's a plus um but yeah so i don't i don't know if you guys were able to see how dirty my hair was before when i try to do some zoom in but my scalp feels so much better so much better now earlier i was showing you one of the lock that unraveled and this one was i'm gonna be clear it did not unravel because of me washing it it was one of those that was unraveling before because i noticed when I have on my Pandora bra bracelet and I will fix my hair, one of the hanging charm will get caught and then I'll just tug it off. So it would, it slowly like basically, um, you know, helped it to unravel. So um, I'm going to have to like this one was unraveling that was affected and then whichever one that my hair was kind of poking out. So that's why I want to get some accessories to kind of just like the threads or the gold and just to kind of wrap on it to not be noticeable. But I'm going to go ahead and put some of the Haitian black castor oil in my hair now. Um, and it's from Crayol Essence. I'm sure if you guys haven't seen it on Instagram, um, but quite a few celebrities. Come on. No. Well, you guys seen it earlier. It's coming. Ah, okay, whatever. Um, yeah. So it's kind of cool. It comes like with the dropper. It's kind of hard for me to do it on camera um, because the mirror is all the way over there and I'm trying to look through the camera, which is probably not going to work. But as I said, just to start off to kind of give you an idea of what I do, I part my hair and let me put this down here. Hold on part my hair and I do not drop it directly I kind of put it on my finger so I can have more control um, and then I rub it in through each part right and then just to sum it up for my balding area that looks super bald right now I go ahead rub it in and I go in a circular motion and I kind of stay a little longer on this area of course um, and as I said I just actually started trying to be consistent um, I try to put it on actually like every other day everything is still intact except for that one um and then the actual locks just look a bit more older which is the look i like for it to get old when it gets older it looks more natural um and one thing i did learn from the young lady that did my hair um ina she corrected me because i did say dreadlock and she corrected me and said that it's actually locks because of the fact that dread is like as if it's dreadful and that's not a term that a lot of people um of course accept with having their hair locked so they're called locks so that's something i learned so these are my faux locks um and yeah i just taught you something so there you go but I'm going to go ahead and continue on putting my Haitian black castor oil in my scalp and massage it in for a little bit. Usually I watch TV so I won't pay attention to how long I'm really massaging. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned for the results of seeing if my hair growth on my left side of my hairline will grow in. Um, but for right now i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your family because i would love for you to be a part of mine so go ahead and click that subscribe button down below please go ahead and click that notification bell so anytime a video is posted you will be the first to know thank you so much guys and i hope you have a great great rest of the week